Hey everyone, Nerfwife here, and we are back with part three of the Nerf Zombie Strike series. We'll be covering five of the Zombie Strike Blasters today, including this one right here, the Sling Fire. Oh my goodness, I don't want to see the blooper reel of me trying to prime this with one hand. Let's see if I can actually do it on camera. So here we go. Let's take a look at our five Zombie Strike Blasters of the day. So up first is the Sling Fire. This is a lever action magazine fed blaster. It's actually the first magazine fed blaster in the Zombie Strike series and also one of Nerf's first lever action blasters. So it's lightweight prime makes it fun for some one handed um, blasting. So let's see how this goes. Oh, I kind of got it. There we go. So this right here is the sling fire. My husband wanted me to dual wield this because we do have two of them. I'm like, yeah, I can barely get the one off. So right here, you can deal, dual wield them, but I will not be doing that. So this is the sling fire. So up next is the Fuse Fire. This is a Zombie Strike Vortex Blaster with a five disc capacity. It is rear loading and rear priming. And what makes it unique is its ability to illuminate the discs upon firing. So lights them up a little bit. So as you can see, who doesn't love glow in the dark? This is the Fuse Fire. So this right here is the Wrath Bolt. This is an elastic powered arrow blaster that's unique because it doesn't use the traditional plunger tube system. It is elastic primed. So you pull back the elastic, then you load the arrow. And when you pull the trigger, it slings the elastic back up, thus firing the arrow. Now it's a uh, unique prime and small silhouette make a compact option for those who wish to use the zombie strike arrows. So it's a pretty awesome blaster, the Wrath Bolt. So this right here is the Quadrot. This is a four dart single shot blaster with a T pull prime in the rear. Now it is small enough to fit into a holster but also thinner than its more popular cousin, the hammer shot. So this is the quadrat. And last but definitely not least is the dreadbolt. Yes, like its smaller counterpart, the wrath bolt, this is also an elastic priming blaster, but this also has a cosmetic wrench that helps to prime the blaster. So you pull this back and now you can load the arrow. Now this blaster has storage for five more arrows on the top of the blaster. And let's see, did I prime it right? You can go, there it is. Now it's large form factor makes it very fun for gameplay. So I hope you enjoyed our five zombie strike blasters of the day, or did we do six? I don't even know. Whatever it is, I hope you enjoyed our blasters of the day and stay tuned for part four because we are going to be covering more zombie strike blasters, including ones that have zombie repellent, AKA silly string. Yes, it gets ridiculous. There is silly string. So stay tuned for part four of the Nerf zombie strike series. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed.